Good morning, Trojans, and thank you for tuning in to the Live and Fab Show, where we have been living live for 10 years. This is Pets Off California. I'm Caleb. And I'm Novoli. In Lexington, Virginia, rumors are spreading about the end of middle-class shopping malls. This morning is a little bit cooler than usual, and also we have some clouds. What does that mean for later? We'll find out more about that in a second. The Bucks and the Bulls played in their second playoff game. I'll tell you all about it coming up next. A dog saved swimmers that were caught up in a current on a, on a Southern California beach. An old ancient Viking ring has been found in a grave expedition in Berka, Sweden. We had those stories and a lot more on the other side of the break. Stick around. And now, a message from the Red Carpet Media Festival. Stand up, stand up. Mm, yes, come to the Red Carpet Media Festival. Mm, quite. You there, young sir. Would you like to join the Red Carpet Media Festival? Uh, no, sir. I just shine shoes for a living. Mm, no worries. Submit any video, photo, or yearbook layout for a chance to win at the festival. Um, anything? Anything. It can range from best news story, feature story, PSA, commercial, repo story, educational video, music video. Um, what do winners get? Winners go on the tour of Hollywood, meet the KTLA crew, and get a free lunch. Well, good sir. I'll join right now. We're back, Trojans. It's time for the Tesla play-by-play. -play. It's your time to shine. The ninth annual Red Carpet Media Festival is just ahead, and the deadline is even closer. Students can enter video projects and photographs for competition. Winners get a day off of school to go to Hollywood and visit KTLA, walk Hollywood Boulevard, and be treated to a free lunch in LA. The competition is open to all stu Tetzloff off students. Entries are judged by a KTLA reporter who will be at the ceremony to award, to award the winners. All those who enter will receive a Hollywood star that will be displayed on the sidewalk at the festival in June. Go to room 205 or the Red Carpet Media Festival website for more info. With just two weeks remaining, please submit your entries soon in that time. Ted's Love will be hosting Science Olympics this Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Students have been working hard practicing for the past few weeks during lunch time to prepare for the big event. If you signed up for an event but have not, have not attended practice yet, See the windows outside of Ms. Tomas and Ms. Kyra's room. Some teams still have room for students while other teams are full. Students not present at the practice will not be on the team the day of the Olympics. All students in Science Olympics team, please pay a visit to Ms. Tomas in room 401 for permission slip. To check out your shirt, please submit your permission slip to Ms. Tomas as soon as possible. For the next homeroom competition, continue collecting box tops until next Thursday. Thank you to all of the homerooms who have participated. Get ready because SBAC testing is almost here. One week from now, please remember to use your own earbuds or headphones. When testing begins, earbuds are provi provided for students without them. Get ready, 8th graders, because the Disneyland field trip is on your way. Save the date, which is Monday, June 15th, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 8th graders have an option to purchase ticket sales from Friday, May 22nd through Wednesday, May 27th, and the prices will be revealed soon. Additionally, all students must be cleared to the cafeteria or library by Wednesday, May 20th, for anyone to buy a ticket. If anyone is on the non-activity list located near the attendance office, the last day to improve your grades with a progress report is Friday, May 15th. Other obligations are still to be made up to participate in the promotion ceremony on June 17th. If you have any questions regarding such events like Disneyland and other policies, please ask Mrs. Stoffers, Mr. Woodward, or Mrs. Campos. All right, children, for Tuesday's Action Reaction segment, Jaden's got a cool video of kicks and flips of parkour. Hey guys, it's Jaden here back with another Hardcore Parkour Tuesdays, and today we have the best parkour tricks and free running. I stare at me while I stare at you. It's true. I 
Whoa, that was amazing. Did you know that parkour is done to test the ability of, to focus? Well, that's all we have for this week, and we will see you next week with another Hardcore Parkour Tuesdays. Thank you, Jaden. That's it for the Play by Play at Tetzla. Check out our Facebook page at Live and Five Show to follow up on our stories. We'll be right back after the break. See ya. An old ancient Viking ring has been found in a grave expedition in Burka, Sweden. The Viking ring is made of purple glass and silver. This isn't a regular Viking ring because it has an is Islamic symbol and it opens a whole new world for archaeologists. It has been the first ever Viking ring found with an Islam is Islamic symbol. 30 kilometers away in is a city called Stockholm and a major trade route connecting the two places. Archaeologists think the Viking ring could have originated in Stock Stockholm and are trying to find more evidence about the ring. Recently, a 36-year-old named Frank Egan was accused of pointing a laser pointer at two airplanes harming the pilots who worked at Air Canada Airlines. The police found the laser pointer on his refrigerator. Eventually, Egan admitted that the laser pointer was his and that he used it earlier during the day. Egan was charged with assault and reckless endangerment. In Lexington, Virginia, rumors are spreading are spreading about the end of middle class shopping because of the convenience of online shopping. It has been proven that purchasing items online is quick, simple, and the items are shipped right to your front door. Rachel Guarsco, a 21-year-old senior at Washington and Lee University, receives a package at her house every year. The package consists of tiny, tiny toiletries such as shampoo, conditioner, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Rachel says that it is shipped automatically to her front door and that, is, and that it makes her life a lot easier. She also said that it saves her time or leaving her time to do other things. On April 15th, Sharky Jama, a Melbourne man and a former model, has reportedly be, been killed in Syria, Syria after joining Islamic State militants last year. Jama's father, Dada Jama, confirmed his death after he received a phone call saying that his son had been shot. Condolences have been posted on Facebook where Jama's friends have been mourning over his death. Sharky Jama's cousin, Habiba War Sameh, said on Facebook under a photo of Jama, quote, Allah bless your soul, all them beautiful memories, time we shared, I shall keep dear to my heart, end quote. An Asiana airline overran the runaway at the Hiroshima airport in Japan last week. According to fire department and military sources, 23 people had injuries after the flight landed. The Japanese transportation ministry said the plane might have hit an object on the runaway, runway, which damaged the rear of the body and the cover of the engine on the left wing. The Hiroshima airport was closed temporarily due to the incident. Time now to check in with Cameron on today's entertainment report. Good morning, Cameron. Good morning, Caleb. The biography straight out of Compton shows how pop culture has evolved. Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, and all in Easy E all lived in California in the mid 1980s, and the revolu and re revolution and revolutionized music. They faced racism, hate, and many other obstacles. They gained many. They gained much popularity after creating honest songs based on living on the streets of Compton. This biography comes out in theaters on August 14th. Let's see what's going on in the world of weather. Good morning, Sammy.
Good morning, Cam. Raining. Good morning, Tetsoff Trojans. All right, it's time for the weather. In our Los Angeles, it's going to be 66 degrees, which is a little bit cooler as we move more east, staying the same, with um, Denver being 67, Omaha being uh, 64. But as we move no more northeast toward the Great Lakes, in Minneapolis is going to be 42 degrees, with Chicago nearby a little bit warmer with 54 degrees. Now, as we move more southeast, it's going to be hotter with Orlando hitting 88 and Miami hitting 86. All right, now it's time for earthquakes. I mean, um, rain. There's going to be a little bit rain hitting Southern Oregon and Northern California and a little bit um, in the Midwest, some in Oklahoma and all throughout the East Coast and also some hitting Maine. All right, now it's time for allergies. Allergies all throughout the week are going to be medium, so for all you allergy sufferers, we're not going to be experiencing allergies. All right, now it's time for earthquakes. In the world, yesterday there was over 86 earthquakes. The biggest one is 6.4 in Taiwan, Taiwan, Swan. And in Southern California, there's been over six earthquakes. The biggest one is 2.4 in La Quinta, California. All right, now it's time for five-day forecast. In, the, in this five-day forecast, it's gonna be pretty much the same all throughout the week, except on Saturday, moving 70 degree, 73 degrees with Sunny and all throughout the week, be expecting some 68 with 169 on Thursday. Cloudy. All right. Make sure to send in pics at Pics Alive Five Show and any birthday shout outs at Birthdays Alive Five Show, and we'll be sure to air them on the show. All right. Now let's toss to the poll with Avery. Good morning, Avery. Good morning, Should Tesla make the PE mile optional? Here's what our viewers said. Yes, because the students who do not run, the students who do not want to run a mile can, can have the options of their client. Another viewer said, no, every student should run a mile to improve their fitness ability. We want to hear from you. Be sure to visit us online at live and five for the vote. Send your comments to hashtag live and five poll or email us at webpoll, live and five show.com. And if it's good, we'll read on the air. So, my, what do you think? Um, I think yes, because they might not be ready to run that day. Agreed. Now it's time for Sports with Christian in the Live and Five locker room. Thank you, Avery. The Milwaukee Bucks played against Chicago Bulls on their second game in the playoffs. Chris Middleton scored 22 points. Jimmy Butler had another terrific game with 31 points. He made many clutch shots towards the end, securing another win for Bulls. Final score, 82 to 91. Another sporting news, Tim Duncan, one of the best basketball players in NBA history, will be retiring in a couple of years. Duncan learned from the great David Robinson when he was a rookie. Thanks to Robinson, Duncan has improved a lot since his rookie year. Robinson was also a great basketball player himself. With Tim Duncan's help, the Spurs are hoping for a back-to-back -back championship for the first time in Spurs history. I brought set up sports, time now to check out your daily 411. Thank you, Christian. Today's 411 question, question is which planet spins the slowest? Venus, Mars, Jupiter, or Saturn? Take five. The correct answer is Venus. It rotates once every 243 Earth days. Richard Van Az and Ivan Owen created mechanical finger ro robo hands through the use of 3D printers. In May 2011, Richard accidentally cut his fingers off and wanted to see if his fingers could be stitched back on. Although the procedure was unsuccessful, he did not make the first fingers for himself. Liam, a five-year-old boy who was born without fingers, was the first one to test them out and said, quote, they move when he wants them to move, end quote. For an adult-sized hand, they cost a little less than $2,000. The robo hand is coming out this year. That wraps up the day live in five. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Don't forget it's birthday tomorrow, so wear your tough up gear. Have an awesome day, Trojans. Make it, do it.
makes us. Hell, hell, hell.